Today, we're going to explore how modern messaging channels can integrate with CM.com's contact center software, Mobile Service Cloud. Our focus is on creating a chatbot interface that serves as the initial point of contact for current and prospective students. It acts as a friendly and knowledgeable virtual assistant, guiding them through their queries before potentially connecting them with a human agent for further assistance. Let's jump right into it. Our CM.com scripted chatbot solution is a very easy to use and intuitive drag and drop type system. Over on this left-hand side, you can see our various blocks. Basically, these are the building blocks of the chatbot itself. Everything from text to input to media to uh, CDP events, which is our customer data platform. So our other one of our other tools, our mobile marketing cloud. You could do outbound web requests. We'll get to that in just a little bit. And then we also have some more advanced options that you would find within WhatsApp conversations or Apple Messages for Business, such as list pickers and and variables and and a couple a handful of other things. Down below, we have our flows. Now, these are essentially various pages or different uh, subsections of the chatbot itself. So within here, in this particular instance for CMU, we have an admissions section. We have a counselor's help desk and general support, and that's all based on an input, and we'll get into that in just a little while. This middle section is our canvas, essentially our workspace. So as I, as I told you, this is a nice drag and drop type solution, very easy to use. Just drag your blocks over. You can rearrange as you see fit. Very simple, and just kind of build the whole thing out as you go. And then over on this right-hand side is essentially the properties menu. So anything for the conversation. So you can add new channels in here if you want WhatsApp or Facebook or any of these other channels that you may have on your, your system. You could set those up, add those in, super easy. And then obviously any kind of settings you need for, for inputs and timeouts. And uh, if you want to kind of set up the content and, and do all of that, that's directly within this platform over here. We also have a cool emulator, uh, which actually you will see here. Oops, I didn't mean to hit the X. So you can see a nice little emulator where you can simulate the conversation based off the various channels. So if you happen to have something that's very specific for Facebook or something that's very specific for WhatsApp, you can test all of those out here before going live with your chatbot solution. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and take a quick pause here. I'm going to open up a brand new uh, dashboard and we'll go ahead and build out what you see here. Once you are logged into your CM.com dashboard, you're going to click on the nine dot system tray and go to the scripted chatbot. We will create a new chatbot. In this case, we will call it CMU chatbot and we'll leave the description blank for the moment. And then once you, this thing loads, you're going to get essentially a bank, a blank slate. Now, we give you an entry point to start with. This has a keyword of hey, but obviously you can add in other keywords if you'd like, or if you want to just remove all of those and match any kind of input that comes inbound to your number, totally fine. In this particular instance, we'll set this up just to match all input. So if someone were to, if someone were to send a message in, we want to be able to send a welcome message back to them. So in this case, we'll call this a welcome slash intro, and then we'll say, hey there. Now, because obviously we're a university, we want to make this a little bit more personal and a little bit kind of younger to the, to the, to the audience that we're talking to. And so we can say, welcome to CMU, home of the lions in this case, right? We'll throw another emoji in there just for the sake of it. And then we can say, give the, the chat bot a uh, personality, you know, we can call me orange. Cool. So we'll give him a personality. Maybe that's the mascot, you know, that kind of thing. You can throw that in there. Okay, so in this particular instance, we now have say hello, and now we want to figure out what the person uh, would like to do or how they would like to interact with our chatbot. We have two different scenarios or two different options here. You could have essentially your menu or the conversation like, hey, what would you like? You could have that in a text field, or you could set this up in a list picker. Since we're talking about WhatsApp, you could have a list picker that would have various buttons that they would be able to click on and they would be able to select you know, which option they would like to do. But for the sake of this test, we'll just go ahead and do a simple text. So we can say, this is the conversation menu, and we can say, how can I help you today, right? In this case, again, because we're using mobile, everything loves to be on emojis. So we'll th throw that in there and say, this is admissions. We'll say number two is for counselors. Say number three is for IT support. And then number four, it's always good to have a kind of catch all, if you will. So we'll call this one general support. So if anything doesn't seem to match up with any of the other prompts, then at least you'll have kind of a catch all at the very end of it. Okay. So now essentially we've asked the person what 
what would you like to, or how would you like to interact with this chatbot, right? So we're going to have store that reply in an input, and we'll say this is a menu input, and that's going to be the variable name that we're going to call it. And now we need to do some logic based on that particular input. So we're going to add a condition. So we're going to say if the equal, if the variable is equal, so the variable that we're talking about is menu input, if it is equal to, in this case, we're looking at just the first one. So we'll say if it's equal to one, or maybe somebody writes it out as one, or maybe somebody even gets, uh, oops, maybe somebody gets kind of, ed, you know, cool and they use the emojis as well. Or in this case, maybe they just type in admissions. So essentially what we're doing here is we're saying whatever kind of input that comes inbound for this particular instance of admissions, I think we've got it all covered. So once that comes in, now we need to say, okay, where is this going to go in the chatbot? Now we can choose a flow. This is the main flow that we're working out of. There's not really a whole lot we can do here that's specific to admissions. So what we need to do is we actually need to create a separate flow specific to admissions. So we're going to create it. We're going to call it admissions. And then for the sake of that logic step that we just showed, I'm going to throw a text field in here just for the sake of it. And then we'll come back to it in just a minute, but you can see this admissions and then text one. So let's go back to the main flow. We'll go back to the equals and logic step. And now when we click on this flow, you can see here that there is an admissions option. And then we're going to say, go to text one on that admissions flow. So now if someone were to reply back, we can actually use the emulator that I talked about before. So we can say, hi and say, hey, how can you do this? Welcome this, how can I help you today? I'll go ahead and say one in this case, because that's what we built out so far. And you can see the ASDF, which is what I wrote in here for that text one admissions. So now you can see how that works. We'll go back to the main flow. What I will do is I'll go ahead and actually uh, finish out the rest of these. So I'll finish out the counselors, I'll finish out the IT support, and then I will come back and we'll do another uh, walkthrough towards the end of this. Stick around. Okay, so now as you can see here, what I've gone ahead and done is I've included the four logic points for the various flows that we've got set up based on the initial menu. So the first menu we have is admissions, counselors, IT support, and then general support. And so again, this is going to anything for admissions, admissions, oops, I just realized I misspelled that, oops. There we go. Okay, so this one's going to be for admissions, and then we have that setting going to admissions and step one. We have it going to counselors, step one. We have it for IT support, step one, and then general support, step one as well. So what that does is essentially covers our main bases. However, what if someone were to reply back with something different? We need to kind of catch for that as well. So what we're going to do is we're just going to throw in here and we can say this is going to be a step for uh, no logic found, we'll call it, right? And so we can say, I'm sorry. I do not recognize the input. Please try again, right? Okay, cool. So once that's done, what we would then like to do is have them try it again. So we're gonna grab a position uh, block and we're gonna say, we need to go back to the main block, the main flow here. And what did we call the initial conversation menu? We said the conversation menu. So now it's main. And then what it's going to do is it's going to push us back up to the conversation menu. So essentially now we're able to come back up to the beginning part and then get uh, the ability for the person to enter in another kind of response. Sweet. Okay. So now that that is done, what we'd like to do is we'd like to fill out one of these extra pages. So what we'll do is we'll go over to the admissions page and we'll get rid of that text field because that's just a placeholder for the moment. Actually, you know what? We will keep that in there. Actually, now we're going to keep that out for a second. What I would like to do is I'd like to go in here and create some media. Maybe I happen to have a logo for the admissions, or maybe I want to throw something in there. In this particular instance, I happen to have 
a image that just says admissions, which is great. So that way it kind of has a nice, oh, you've clicked on this button. This is exactly what it is. So let's go ahead and throw another text in here and we'll say, welcome to CMU admissions. And then maybe we'd like to have another input. Actually, before we do that, I would like to go back to the main page because I now that I've changed this, I need to go in here and I need to set this up to media one instead. So now it goes to that, that uh, picture first. So now that that's done, we can come back here. Okay, so now that we'd like to set in some pieces here, okay, because we have this persona or the, the mascot, the, the lion, we can actually have him do the one doing the talking. So we can throw that in there and we can say, there is a plethora, T H or I actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste what I had previously written just for the sake of the, uh, for the sake of the video and the time here. So I'll go ahead and throw this in here. It's a ton of information that I can provide regarding admissions. Please select from the list below. And we can get you to the right people and find the right information. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you that list picker that I was referring to. So I can go ahead and throw drag and drop that in there. Now this list picker, again, this is kind of set up for, uh, the Apple business messaging or for WhatsApp, where it actually provides you with some buttons to click on, or at least a menu to select rather than just having the end user have to type it in. So we'll go ahead and say, this is the, uh, CMU admissions. What would you like to discuss? And so we'll throw in some buttons and some options for the person to select. And so we can say schedule a tour. We'll call this, uh, we'll, put it as a name of tour, which is an ID. So that way we can then track the input based off of that. If someone were to select, to, uh, if there were someone were to select to schedule a tour, apply to join us. We could call this apply. Let's throw in another one, maybe uh, explore financial aid. Financial Oops, financial aid. And then we can call this uh, fin aid, that's fine. And then the last one we'll say is any maybe upcoming seminars that maybe somebody would like to attend. Okay, great, so we have our four different options. And now we need to accept an input. So we'll go back up to the input stage. And we'll call this uh, admissions input. And then we want to do some logic based on that. So we'll say, okay, so the logic, add a condition. If the input of admissions input is equal to, we'll say apply, right? Because that's the variable that we had selected. Right. Oh, no, it was a uh, tour. That's what we need. So if, let's just say it wants to be tour, schedule a tour so we can set that up. What we would like to then do is we would like to um, schedule a tour. Now, I had told you at the very beginning that there's an option for this web request, right? So obviously, this chatbot is, uh, you know, it has a ton of different features. There are some features, obviously, that it needs uh, outbound access to. In this particular instance, maybe it happens to be your scheduling system, whatever systems that you that you may be using to schedule your tours. What you could do is you could actually throw in a web request. And so, in this particular instance, for this logic, uh, say if someone were to reply to tour. You know, you could have this set up to go to admissions and then scroll down to web request and you could, well, certainly you would ask for more information first as far as what dates and times, but you could reply in here and you could create an actual API call, include the body of the content and the, and the headers and parameters. You could actually create your full API request right here to schedule the entire uh, tour directly from within this chat bot. And it's fully automated and the whole system works, you know, really, really well, which is pretty sweet. Um, however, if they were to reply with any of the other options, you know, such as, uh, the financial aid or apply, you can obviously create text content, uh, you know, throw more content in here and have that set up to be the routing for those. Um, or if you'd like to kind of go back to any of the, the other systems or pages, that's certainly a way that you can do that. Okay. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to at least test out, I've gone ahead and removed the, uh, the web request piece just for the moment, but let's go ahead and test this emulator out just to, at least we can see this information here. So we have the WhatsApp here. We'll say hello. 
and I'll say, hello, welcome back. I am Orange, and how can I help you today? We'll say admissions. And as you can see here, we've got a list of things. We got our nice little image, welcome to CMU admissions. And then obviously our, our mascot has given us some information, says, hey, how can I help you today? And then we have our various buttons. So if I were to schedule a tour, I could click on that and then I could ask for more content or more details as far as availability or your name and you know name, address, whatever information you would like to keep, phone number, email, whatever it is that you'd like to kind of track and then send an API call outbound to your scheduling tool to be able to then actually schedule that automatically totally easy to do and set up directly from this chat bot um, and then kind of go from there so that hopefully this has been helpful if you have any questions reach out to us at cm.com and we hope to see you soon thanks